It began under a blood moon in a forsaken town called Deadwood. In life, the outlaw was called Blackjack, a name he earned killing 21 men. But in death, he would kill many more. Unsuspecting grave robbers unleashed a phantom curse and condemned the entire town. Like a plague, the townsfolk dropped dead, one by one. No one knew what the wicked spirit wanted, and no one knew how to stop him. If the curse was to be broken, it would take something beyond the normal. Something extraordinary. Something paranormal. This is the place. The town of Deadwood has been haunted for many years, and the tormented spirits cannot rest until Blackjack's curse is broken. I've got to find out what happened here and solve the mystery. Okay, after that interesting intro. Hello everyone, welcome to Ghost Adventures Deadwood. I'm Bubonic Zombie. Um, so, just to give you guys a quick uh, back background, um, to let you guys know ahead of time, uh, I did do some research and while there were, there were two outlaws named Blackjack, none of which were in Deadwood. Then again, Deadwood was known for quite a few things. Um, Shout out to everybody in Deadwood, uh, which is in South Dakota in the States. So, the first one named uh, Blackjack was a man by the name of Tom Ketchum, and he lived to be 37 before he was hanged for attempting to rob, um, to rob a train, actually. And then another one was named Blackjack Christian, born William Christian, and he lived only to be 25 before he was killed by a posse, as well as he, um, the rest of his gang was killed. But, um, that's the only thing I could find about any outlaws named Blackjack. So, this is entirely fictional, which makes things very interesting, because, um, you get to see what people, uh, create when they, um, take real locations with real history behind them, but they add in a fictional character. So, but it is uh, very much known that Deadwood is a notorious town, um, at least notorious uh, during the 19th century, and currently it is a hot spot for paranormal investigations. So anyway, on to tutorial. When your mouse cursor moves, when your, when your <laughs> curse, mouse cursor changes into a hand, you can collect or interact with items. Pick up the oil can. Okay, we have an oil can. That's interesting. Usually, um, games will have like a tiny hand, but we have our delicate little hand right there. Okay, when your mouse cursor changes into a magnifying glass, you can examine something more closely. Okay, when your mouse cursor changes to a gear, you can you have a task to complete. Items are kept in your inventory and are used to complete tasks. Open your inventory and use the oil can to open up the mailbox. There we go. Oh, I like the little cartoon animation. The cartoon photos in the inventory. Open immediately. So we have a pocket watch. When your mouse cursor changes to an arrow, you can explore a new location. Into the saloon! Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, thank goodness you've come to help. The town is haunted by the terrible ghost of Blackjack, and my grandson Billy is trapped behind the gate. He is all I have left since my dear husband Abner passed away. Abner had the only gate key, and I think he hid it upstairs. Can you find my cane so I can go up and look for it? Sure. Okay. So I have something. We have a journal. Okay. 
Ghost Town Deadwood, some places are quiet, and some places whisper, other places scream, and this is one of those places. I came here to investigate- Oh, hello, little spider! <laughs> I came here to investigate those subtle whispers that most people can no longer hear. I don't claim to have any special powers, I just feel. I can sense a dark energy from this place. Legend has it that the ghost of the outlaw Blackjack haunts this place, and I feel that this town has a story to tell. Okay, Detective Bubonic, Paranormal Investigator Extraordinaire! Okay, so it sounds like we're sensitive. We can uh, sense energies around us. Hard times for Granny. <laughs> okay, Granny has fallen on hard times. With the recent passing of her husband, Abner, all she has left is her grandson, Billy, who has gone missing. The sheriff has evacuated the town, but she can't leave until she finds Billy. I'm sure I can help her find Billy and get them out of danger. Still, I sense there is something else going on. Her presence tells me there is more than meets the eye. Please bring me my cane so I can go upstairs and find the gate key for you. Okay. There's a bunch of pile of shares. Ah! There's a safe! Deadwood Safe Company, 1870. Oh. <laughs> Safe is missing a dial. Okay. Safe is missing a handle. So. Past the number I'm sensing is part of the safe combination. Okay, so we are definitely um, a sensitive... Maybe psychic. How do I go back? There we go. Okay. The cabin is tied shut with a thick noose. I could probably cut through this. I was about to mention that this looks like a knot for a noose. Okay. Ah, oh, we have our card. Looks like Granny has my business card. Huh, I wonder how she got that. We have a knife. It was in a block of cheese. We see bourbon. I'm sensing something here, a number. What could it mean? 90 proof bourbon. <laughs> okay. Let's see, so we have 90, 70, there's a 90, there's 90, 70, what's the middle one? Okay, we have a knife and we can cut through this. Sparkling areas indicate places where you can zoom in and search for a useful item. Okay, hidden object seen! Search for all the items on the list below. Completing the list will reward you with a useful item. Okay, and we have a vulture right there! Okay. If you get stuck, you can use the hint, but it will take some time to recharge after each use before you can use it again. Gotcha! Okay. Quite a few things. There's quite a few more things than I... I blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Stumbling on my words. Quite a few more things that I'm used to um, being asked to find in uh, hidden object scenes. Okay. Okay. We have our cane. There you go, Granny. Thank you. Please follow me upstairs and I'll look for the gate key. Miss you. Oh. I don't think she's human. Or at least a living human. She kind of faded. I looked everywhere, but I don't know where Abner hit the gate key. If he was here now, I'm sure he could help us. I miss him so much. I have to remember to click on the OK button. Usually in games where there's voice acting, um, you just, you know, go ahead and just play it. Oh, what's this? Dead with times, Billy presumed dead. The grandson of the owner of the Deadwood Saloon is missing and presumed dead. He was last seen being chased into the abandoned mine by the ghost of the notorious outlaw Blackjack. This lettering is too small and faded to read, but... News article says Billy is presumed dead, but I have a feeling he is still alive, at least for now. Okay. We have a safe handle! Okay, sweet. 
Please find the gate key. It's the only way to save my grandson. Glove. I'm wondering what time period this takes place in. We have a crowbar. Okay, that just brings us to a news article. Mm. I sense something as if a soul is crying out. I feel they have something important to impart if only I can find a way to connect to them. Okay. Now prevents me opening a drawer. Does the crowbar help? No. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, I believe that's all from he for here. Okay. Let's go back downstairs. Put this safe. Put this handle on the safe. We still need a dial. Pocket watch, crowbar, and a glove. Go outside. Ah! Oh, we have a letter. Keep out condemned danger. 30 dead so far. Sheriff Billy, bad ghost. But Sheriff Billy would sa will save Deadwood. Oh no, this isn't an innocent child's drawing. I sense that little Billy actually thinks he can stop the ghost of Blackjack himself. A lot of kids think they're superheroes. Okay, we have a nail puller. <laughs> Hello, fellow citizens. I have done everything in my power to stop the ghost of Blackjack, but he will not stop until everyone is dead. All residents of Deadwood must evacuate the town immediately. The sheriff. The situation in Deadwood must have been very dire for the sheriff, with the sheriff to evacuate the entire town. Okay. Gate is locked. Need to find the gate key. Okay, but we have a nail puller. Okay, just wait there, Granny. There we go. And we have a safe dial. Who wants to bet that the key is in the safe? Okay. So we have 90 and 70. I don't know what this middle one is. If you need help with the puzzle, read the help at the bottom of the screen. Figure out the code to open the safe. Use the dials to enter the code, then turn the handle. When the code is correct, the safe will open. Okay. Get stuck. There's a skip button. Okay. This D right here. That might be the 70. Okay. So it was 90, 70, and 30, the 30 being the number that was on Billy's drawing. Okay. So we have a portrait. It looks like, um, Abner's portrait. Okay. You want his portrait? Oh, you found Abner's portrait. Can you please put it back on the wall for me? Is this where you want us to put it? Oh! Thank you for restoring my portrait so my dear wife can look upon me again. Unlike you, she doesn't have the powers to sense my spirit. There is one final thing I can do for her. Help to rescue our grandson. Here. Take the gate key, but beware the ghost of Blackjack, or you'll end up like I did. Dead. Okay! Thanks, dude! I see you found the gate key. Please hurry and save Billy for me. Ma'am, you have a creepy smile. Okay, she's just gonna keep smiling like that. Okay. Okay. 
There's the gate key. And we will go and do that in the next episode. So she probably isn't a ghost, considering we just saw the ghost of Abner. Um, that was probably just something with the animation to have her fade out very early before she got to the top of the stairs. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!